We'd like to try something a little bit different today with this video. We're going to give you a full comparison of the original Axis and Allies, I bought this one straight off the shelf back in the 80s, with the newer reskin, the 1941. We'll show you everything there is to know about this. And in the comments, we're gonna post five comments, ranging from a one star up to a five star. And what we'd love you to do is reply to the one that you think best describes this comparison, and just tell us why. This is Legendary Tactics. Okay, so tell me, um, what does a one star mean? What does a five star mean? So one star means you prefer the Axis and Allies of the old version, and five stars means you like the Axis and Allies, the new version. We'd like you to put a thumb up on the correct uh, rating and then add a comment explaining why you picked that particular star level. Excellent. Okay, let's get right into it. So um, you can see my copy's pretty battered and bruised here. Well used. So if you like a game that's a little bit smaller, a little more compact, you can take with you on the run. This might be the way to go. And I've always found that um, this game, um, there's a bit of wasted space in the box. Really only half the box is full. I do have some of the components set aside here, uh, but there isn't much more in here. Um, we've got these foam inserts for separating uh, these different elements of the game. And uh, we'll get right into those components in a, in a minute here. Whereas in this, it is also a lot of space but instead of the foam inserts, all of the pieces fit in these plastic baggies. So take a look at the box art and see which of these do you prefer more. Okay, uh, next up, why don't we take a look at the rule books. Um, and we should also highlight some of the rule differences too, I think. So uh, mine is the traditional, I mean, in the original, I got literally somebody printed it out of their dot matrix printer, and this is what you've got. Um, it's a classic system though. I mean, this game has stood up. It's stood the test of time. People still buy it, they still love it. And uh, it, I, I honestly, despite its appearances, this is such an innovative game for its time. The modern rule book shows that the game is mostly unchanged with two main differences. One, production. We no longer have paper money, instead it is covered with a track. And secondly, the researching is no longer uh, an action or a thing that you can buy during the production phase. Instead, every unit has its own special abilities. This is very similar to the G.I. Joe version of the Axis and Allies game. And I'm looking at about 31 pages here. How are you doing? We are 31 pages. Oh, room for notes, so maybe a little less. Yeah, but it's also got one on oh, the back. Oh, that's fair. Okay, so in terms of length, they're about the same. Not a lot of changes there. So let us know which one you prefer in terms of the rule book. Next up, uh, shall we get into our units? Yes. Yes, excellent, okay. So as we uh, showed you before, the original one came with this foam insert, which really seemed cool at the time, but nobody uses these anymore. Um, and that might be something nostalgia-wise that you like, or perhaps you prefer um, a more compact game that doesn't use the this, this styrofoam. Oh, we're gonna line them up, okay. I thought these carriers were bigger. were bigger than these. These ones are flatter than these ones, but uh, fairly comparable. How about the battleship? Your battleships are bigger. Pink. Yes. Oh, interesting. Okay, and if we look at detail, so yours has a long cannon on it. Mine, not so much. The detail on the side is approximately the same. Yours has more of a recession there. Right. Um, your tracks at the bottom, mine's flat and yours has little lines to suggest the, the tracks. The plastic's also much more shiny with mine, whereas Mine's this a, is a little more dull. Bit of a matte. Do you have transports? Uh, yep, that's uh, okay. one of these guys. Approximately the same size. Almost and the same. A little uh, bit bigger. Fairly similar sculpt. And then we've got Let me find submarines. This. Oh, yours are slimmer, sleeker, pointier. With with this sort of larger conning tower on it as well. Right, and a little flatter. Yeah, mine poke up a little bit more. Interesting, okay, so Very just minor. sub like poking up. Minor differences, do you have industrial production? No industrial production. Okay, and in terms of tokens, I've got poker chips to um, stack those on, and you have cardboard. Cardboard little circle. 
And you have different colors of the poker chips? I do, yes. Red and white. I believe, are there blues as well? And there's three for the new version. Uh, Red. Gray is one, green is three, and you have a few reds that are five. That's right. Okay, and infantry units. They are almost identical. Yeah, same sculpt. Little green plastic army men. Yep. Not a lot of difference. There's actually maybe a little bit more detail on the old sculpt. Maybe not. They're very comparable. They're very, very similar. Bomber? Oh, yes. Oh, I've got extra got tail fin tail fins on there. Yep. Fighter. Interesting. Right, and this one is a little flat. Looks a little bit unfinished. This one has a little bit more detail on the detail top. Detail on the wing for sure. Mm -hmm. How about the fighters? Very a similar cool. detail on the wings. Cockpit has a little bit more detail on this one. The nose a little more. You can see the engine a bit better. Yep. Yeah remembering that these are also quite old, but they've survived quite well. <laughs> so, okay, that's all of our components. Okay, you ready for the big reveal on the board? Get about half of each one on the shot here. Very interesting. Oh, let's compare size. Um, let's put yours on top. Okay. Oh, interesting. So they're almost identical, same length. Um, this one just has the extra magnification spaces if you have more uh, overflow units. Color scheme is quite different. Um, this one I would say is much more distinctive in terms of who um, captures which area. These are the neutral zones, Americans, Germans, Russians. Um, yours is a much more earthy toned. Yeah, muted. Browns and greens. Muted tones. Uh, with that said, Africa here is a little different. Some of the spaces, like this is a non-passable Sahara right. that doesn't exist on the old. Oh, that's that's an interesting update. Possibly new strategies to come out uh, because of that. And it's interesting too because you get like Russia is color-coded as Russia, but on here um, you've got the markers on every single square that say this is who begins with control and you would place your token over top of that to cover it. Right. Uh, also, quite a few differences in terms of, pull this over so you can see, let's just look at Europe here. Uh, Southern Europe, six on the old one here. Three in Eastern Europe, one there. Germany, 10 versus four. Six versus three, so they've rebalanced a lot of the... The numbers seem generally lower now. That's right, so how do you think that'll impact the game? Maybe make it a little bit tighter. It's not easy to just grab some large centers or uh, Germany loses right away as soon as Western Europe's gone and they've lost six production sort of thing. Right, so do you think it's better to have higher production value, more units uh, coming onto the board, or do you think a more streamlined approach is the better of these approaches? Anything else? We Oh, you have a mobilization zone? Mobilization so zone plus the, as I mentioned, the uh, information of all the different types of units are always on this board. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Now these are squashed down a little bit um, on your edge of the map. We'll compare it over here. Um, we get a much fuller uh, North America. Here it's almost coming off the edge of the board. Over here we have a slightly smaller version of, it, actually they're fairly comparable. Um, both of them are chopped. You know, this one's chopped in half and so yeah. is North America there. So fairly comparable that way. Um, now you also have the production track across the top, right? And that's not part of this board. Well, you have a separate board for that. Production. That's right. So um, let's pull that out right now then. So this is essentially an add-on for my version. And which do you prefer, having the production across the top like that, part of the board, or do you prefer... Um, now, is the weapons development part of the 1941 game? There is no weapons development in my game. Instead, it's the specialized abilities that they start off with. Right, okay. So there is a little bit of asymmetry built into the design of the game as opposed to the customization of what you do. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. 
Very interesting. Let's move on to, uh, do you have an attacker board? I do, though it's just a strip on the new one versus this large attacker board. Okay, so is it better when you stack your units on here, there's the pictures um, to make it quite simple to get your units lined up or do you prefer a more streamlined version again with words rather than that's pictures right. yes so i guess the question we have is whether you like um, the all-in-one uh, combat board where your casualties come down here and i understand you have there's an extra little piece that comes at the end here that you can define for casualties okay so let us know which of those you prefer next up uh paper money we don't have in yours i'll just throw the the bills there. So I think that uh, covers everything that uh, we see different in the game. So please let us know down below. Uh, do you prefer the newer version of the game, the older version of the game? Uh, really appreciate you being here. Now get out there, get gaming, and be legendary.